everyone, Kingens here and thank you so much for supporting me by clicking this video and welcome to the third episode of Microsoft Project. In this opportunity, I would like to join in the hype of this ripple stitch and make my own design that I named Ranu. This design is of course not a beginner friendly but it is for intermediate to advanced crocheter and without any further ado, let's jump to the tutorials. For this tutorial, you will need any of the Kiwit yarn or category 3 yarn and I am using this comb cotton yarn from Sarat Magani which I request to uh, the color based on the sunset in Bora Buddha temple and surprisingly they did a very great job with that and you can check their Instagram account at Sarat Magani to check their collection You will also need the 4mm crochet hook scissors yarn needle and some stitch markers all right without any further ado let's jump to the tutorial okay so as usual here i will only give you a sample on how to crochet the stitch and you can just follow the instruction that written on your screen First step, you need to make 77 chains and once you finish with your chain, put additional 4 chains. These 4 chains will count as our first treble crochets. Next, treble crochet into the 5th chain from the hook. So, we have to treble crochet, make another 3 treble crochets into the same stitch. Alright, so in total we have 5 treble crochets because the chain 4 is our first treble crochet. Treble crochet into the next. And treble crochet into the next 8 chains. So in total we have 9 treble crochets after our 5 treble crochet cluster. And I am here and I already have my 9 treble crochets after the cluster. Um, now we make another cluster which is 5 treble crochets into the next stitch. Make another cluster of 5 treble crochets into the next stitch. Alright, so now we need to repeat what we just did um, here, which is we need to make 9 treble crochets into the next 9 chains. Okay, so I already have my 9 treble crochets here and from now on you just need to repeat the same steps, which is make 5 treble crochets into the next 2 stitches and then repeat the 9 treble crochets until you reach the end of the row and once you reach the end of the row make the last uh, cluster of 5 treble crochets into the last chain alright so here is the first row of our ripple stitch so it should be wavy like this and now let's start to make uh, the second row so chain 1 this time the chain 1 doesn't count as our first stitch then your work and then make front pose single crochet all the way along starting from the very first stitch alright I am here at the end and now the last front pose single crochet should be made into the chain 4 and this is how your work should look like. Alright, so now let's 
uh, working on the next row, chain 4, and the chain 4 count as our first treble crochet. Turn your work, and then insert another 4 treble crochets into the first stitch, which means we're going to make our first cluster of 5 treble crochet. Okay, so we have five treble crochets. Now, treble crochet into the next stitch. Skip one and treble crochets into the next. Skip one again and treble crochets into the next stitch. So Repeat the same steps, which is uh, skip one and then treble crochets all the way along until you have in total nine treble crochets after the cluster. And then I will meet you there once I finish mine. Okay, so I already have my nine treble crochets here. And the next step, you need to make another cluster of five treble crochets right into the next stitch. And make another cluster of five treble crochet into the next stitch, just like what we did on our first row. Okay, so we already have two cluster of five treble crochets now we need to make um, treble crochet into the next stitch without skipping any stitch now skip one and then treble crochets into the next stitch all the way along until you have in total nine treble crochets after the cluster Alright, so I already have my 9 treble crochets after the cluster and from now on just uh, repeat the same steps which is after this you just need to make 2 cluster of 5 treble crochets and then the 9 treble crochets with skipping 1 stitch and once you reach the end of the row make your last cluster of 5 treble crochets into the last stitch. Alright, so here is the look for our third row. Now, chain 1, and this doesn't count as our stitch, turn your work. Just repeat the front pose single crochet like what we did on our second row. All the way along until you reach the end of the row. I am here at the end and now chain 4 for the next row turn your work and from now on you just need to repeat your third row which is the treble crochet with skipping a stitch and then cluster of double crochets and also the fourth row which is the front post single crochet all the way along until you have in total of 16 rows for the crop top and 28 rows for normal length top and i will meet you there once i finish mine all right so i'm finished with my 28 rows of ripple stitch and this is how your work should look like here i am making 
the normal length top because I'm hitch happy so there is no way uh, for me to wearing a crop top all right so the next step is we're going to crochet the border of our work and I already crochet the one side of the border and I will show you how to crochet this into the other side okay so position your work into the wrong side facing you like this and insert the yarn into the first row of single crochet chain one and then single crochet into the same stitch make four single crochet into the treble crochet row make one single crochet into the single crochet row and then four travel a uh, sorry single crochets into the travel crochet row and repeat these steps all along until you reach the end of the row which is one single crochet into the single crochet rows and four single crochet into the travel crochet rows all right i am here at the end now insert one single crochet into the last row of single crochet and this is how your work should look like now moving to the second row chain two and then turn your work make four double crochets into the same stitch skip four stitches and then single crochet into the next stitch skip four and seven double crochets into the next stitch skip 4 single crochet into the next stitch and repeat the same steps all the way along until you reach the end of the row and I will meet you there all right I am here at the end and now make four double crochets into the last stitch Now, fasten off and cut the yarn. And we're finished with our border. You just need to do the same steps uh, into the other side. And this is how your work should look like. Now, let's move to the upper part and you need to put stitch marker on top of the first treble crochet of the second cluster so this is the first cluster and this is the second and put a stitch marker on top of the first treble crochet moving to the other clusters and uh, you need to count five treble crochet after the second cluster here so starting from this stitch counting five treble crochets and put a stitch marker on top of it do the same thing to the other side and now into the yarn into the stitch marker
the yarn and chain four and we need to start the same ripple stitch uh, as what we did at the main part here and until you reach the other stitch marker so just repeat the same steps as what we did into our body part until you have in total 10 rows of the ripple stitch and i will meet you there once i finish mine all right i'm finished with my 10 rows of ripple stitch and this is how your work should look like now do the same thing to the other side starting from this stitch marker into the other stitch marker exactly the same thing until you reach total of 10 rows of the ripple stitch I'm finished with my ripple stitch on both sides and this is how your work should look like uh, so now let's move into the shoulder part which is uh, you need to mark the first like the first travel crochet of the second cluster so this is the first travel crochet and you need to put a stitch marker on it and do the same thing to the other side which is the treble crochet of the first treble crochet of the second cluster and put a stitch marker and then continue doing the ripple stitch starting from this side to the stitch marker until you have two rows in total for this side and for the other side starting from the stitch marker to the end of the row until you have one row of ripple stitch and once you finish doing both sides just sew the end together to join them and then i will meet you there once i finish mine okay i'm finished with my ripple stitch on both sides so i have one ripple stitch here and two rows here now let's just sew them together to join them Make sure that uh, you sew the treble crochet into the front post single crochet and not into the treble crochet stitch. And here is the result once you finish to sewing yours. So it just look the same. And the seam line is camouflage. So now let's move into the collar part. Insert the yarn into the end of the upper part and then make 42 chains all right once you finish with your chains now let's slip stitch into the other side make sure you are slip stitching on top of the single crochet Okay, now let's chain two. Double crochet into the same stitch. Double crochet along. So keep double crocheting until you reach this side and then I will meet you there to show you what to do next. Okay, now... Um, into this side you need to make one double crochet and then four double crochets into the treble crochet rows one double crochet into the single crochet row so just repeat the same steps which is one double crochet into the single crochet rows and four double crochets into the treble crochet rows all along until you reach the end of the row and then I will meet you there at the end to show you what to do next I am here at the end now let's slip stitch on top of the first double crochet moving to the next row chain two and front pose double crochet back pose double crochet front pose double crochet back pose 
double crochet and keep repeating the alternation between front pose and back pose double crochets all along until you reach the end of the row all right i am here at the end now let's slip stitch on top of the first double crochet and now for the next row just repeat the same steps which is alternation between front pose and back pose double crochet put front pose double crochet on top of the front pose double crochet and back pose double crochet on top of the back pose double crochet until you have eight rows in total okay i'm finished with the color and this is how your work you look like so now let's move into the sleeve part so for the sleeve you need to make the repeat stitch starting by chaining 66 chains and then doing the same ripple stitch like what we did on our body until we have in total 30 rows and once you finish with your flat lay of ripple stitch now let's move into the border for our sleeve insert the yarn into the first row chain one single crochet into the same stitch and four single crochets into the treble crochet row well basically we will doing single crochet along so just put one single crochet into the single crochet row and four single crochets into the treble crochet rows all the way along until you reach the end of the row and i will meet you there once i finish mine i'm finished with my single crochet now moving to the next row chain one turn your work half double crochet into the first stitch and then chain one skip one and half double crochet into the next chain one skip one and half double crochet into the next chain one skip one half double crochet so just repeat the same steps until you reach the end of the row chain one skip one half double crochet into the next we we'll finish with the next stitch and now moving to the next row chain one turn your work and then single crochet into the same stitch single crochet into the chain one space single crochet into the next stitch single crochet into the chain one space so repeat the same steps which is single crochet along on top of the half double crochet and inside the chain one space until you reach the end of the row and then i'm finished with my single crochet now let's move into the last row chain two turn your work put another three double crochets skip one chain a uh, single crochet into the next skip one five double crochet into the next uh, stitch skip one single crochet into the next skip one five double crochets into the next so just repeat the same steps until you reach the end of the row all right once you finish fasten off and cut the yarn and now we're finished with the sleeve and then now you need to join both sides by sewing the sides together like this so sew them along until you reach the end of the row and once you finish with the sides you can just sew the sleeve to the body the to the armpit side of the body here and then i will meet you there once i finish mine all right i'm finished sewing the sleeve into the body and this is how your work should look like and then once we finish we need to make the cord for our corset back so the first one you need to make it long for our corset side here and the other one is shorter for our sleeve And once you finish with the chains, 
just insert the cord inside the hole that we made on a sleeve like this and then for the body part you just need to insert the cord into the first stitch of the fan here and then skipping this fan stitch insert into the middle of the fan stitch here skipping one and insert into the middle all the way along and then you just need to make a tie into the end of the side and then and then you're all done with your body then last but not least of course you have to weave in all ends <laughs> if you want and you're all done with your ranu top all right i think that's all for the tutorials thank you so much for following my tutorials i hope that the instruction is clear enough and easy to follow also don't forget to take me on instagram and facebook at thinking fortuna and continue your support by click like comment subscribe and also share this video to your social medias and see you on the next video bye